Welcome to day six of Slime Week. I'm sorry it's a little bit late, but I am so excited for today's video. So I've seen this trend going around on YouTube where people add too much ingredients to slime and I thought it looked like so much fun and I definitely wanted to try it out. So today I'm going to be taking certain ingredients and adding way more than I should to slime and we're gonna see what the results are. So the first thing I decided to use was shaving foam and I had no idea how this slime was going to turn out. So I started off just making a normal slime base. So I've just got some glue and I just made mine blue. Then I'm taking some shaving foam and I am just going to add so, so much shaving foam. I even used a super large bowl just so I could add all the shaving foam. I think I added almost two cans and normally I only add about a cup. So this is a lot. As you can see here, the shaving foam to glue ratio is way off. So I was excited to see how this was going to work. I loved all the shaving foam. Oh my gosh, it's like a giant marshmallow. So I just mixed it in and this was so hard because I filled it all the way. And then I added my activator. Now at first I was like, this is not going to activate. This ratio is all wrong. It's not going to work. At this point, I was starting to lose hope. It did not look like it was going to come together and make a slime that just wasn't mixing. So what I decided to do was empty the entire contents of the bowl out onto the table. And this way I could really make sure that the activator was mixing in. And then something magical happened and it started to form slime. And I was so excited. It did take a while to mix in. And I found that it stayed a little bit sticky and that's because of how much shaving foam I added. But the end result of adding one and a half cans of shaving foam was this super jiggly you can see here how jiggly it is super clicky fluffy slime and when i say this is a fluffy slime it tastes like fluffy slime to a whole new level it's like a cloud and i had so much fun with this oh my gosh i'm so glad we started with shaving foam <laughs> So I've always been curious to know what would happen if I added way too many beads or charms to slime. So I thought today was the perfect day to find that out. So here I just have a container filled with beads and then some clear slime that I made. And I am obsessed with my clear slime recipe. I feel like I've perfected it. So if you guys would like to see how to make the best clear slime, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely do that. So I started off with adding a few beads. I guess you would call this like a normal amount of beads. And then I just mix this in. And oh my gosh, I love mixing charms into clear slime so much because you can see all the charms so clearly. And I just love the way it looks. Look at all the pops of color. So here we have about a normal amount of beads, but we need to take that to the next level. So I just added a, another few beads and then I'm mixing this in. And so far, so good, it feels fine. And then I just continued adding beads and mixing them in. So here I am adding even more beads and I feel like this is the limit with how many beads I could add. The slime would not hold any more than this. This slime was super hard to poke just because the whole thing is basically beads, but it had great bubble pops and it felt really interesting. It didn't really feel like slime just because the whole thing was mainly beads, but I'm so happy I tried this out. Because we 
added so many beads to this slime, it of course expanded. So I had to move the slime from this little container that it was originally in into this big container. So it like doubled the size of my slime, which I thought was awesome. Now we have the ingredient that I was most excited to use. I have been wanting to see what would happen if I added way too much glitter to slime and now I finally had a reason to. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to need is of course a lot of glitter and lucky I love glitter and I had way too much on hand. So here I just have some clear slime and first I wanted to make it look really pretty. I didn't want to just dump the glitter on so I made it look super pretty. How cool does this look? It kind of reminds me of a beach ball. As pretty as this looked, I wanted to see what would happen once I started mixing it in and as you can see you get this super awesome effect in the clear slime from where you press the glitter in and this part was really satisfying and I had a lot of fun with this. After mixing in the glitter, it gave the slime the coolest effect. It looked like the glitter was just suspended in the slime and it reminded me of a galaxy. It's so magical. And then I just tipped the slime out and continued mixing the glitter in. So to me, that was about a normal amount of glitter and we needed to add too much. So I just grabbed a bunch of glitters and started adding them to the slime. And what I found when I started to mix this in is that it made the slime feel really dry, kind of like sand. It was not a nice texture at all. And it took a bit of working in to get all this glitter mixed in. And I feel like it kind of ruined my pretty glitterful slime. I went too far with the glitter. I can't believe I just said that. You guys know how much I love glitter. But in this case, I added too much glitter and it made it really textured as you can see here. It looks kind of grainy. Yeah, that wasn't fun at all, but I was excited to see what happened. Oh, and of course it had great bubble pops. My favorite thing ever. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed Slime Week Day 6 and seeing what happens when you add too much ingredients to slime. If you haven't yet seen Slime Week Day 5, I'll make sure to link it on the screen. So don't forget to check it out. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!